Let's move on to Proposition 47, in which we prove the Pythagorean Theorem. In right angle triangles, the square on the side subtending the right angle is equal to the squares on the sides containing the right angle. And let's draw our right triangle. Let ABC be a right angle triangle. So here's our right triangle. Here's the right angle, which is going to be the angle BAC. We'll label these in BAC. The claim is that the square built on BC, which is going to be down here, is equal to the squares on BA and AC together. First, we're going to construct our squares. For let there be described on BC, the square BDEC. So this will be the square down here. And in terms of the labeling, this will be D and this will be E. So we have the square BDEC. And on BA, this like over here, the squares GB and HC. And on this leg over here, AB, we're going to construct the square GB. We draw that in. And we're going to construct another square upon this leg. And in terms of labeling, this will be G. Here's what he's talking about when he says GB. This will be F, this will be H, and this will be K. And this we can all do by the previous proposition, number 46, to build squares upon a given straight line. And now we have through A, let AL be drawn parallel to either BD or CE. So we're going to connect A down to L down here. This point down here is going to be L. And we're going to let AD and FC be joined. We have AD and FC. Next, we're going to ensure that some of the lines that show up in our diagram are actually in line with each other. He says, then since each of the angles BAC, which is over here, and BAG, so over here, is right. It follows that with a straight line BA and at a point A on it, the two straight lines AC, which is over here, AC, and AG, not lying on the same side, make the adjacent angles equal to two right angles. Therefore, CA is in a straight line with AG. So this is in straight line with AG by proposition number 14. And for the same reason, BA is in a straight line with AH. That is, we have the angle BAC over here, a right angle. And we have another right angle, CAH, over here. So we have two adjacent right angles and the straight line AC. Therefore, BA is in line with AH. Now, the next step of this proof is we're going to attempt to demonstrate that the triangle F to B to C is actually equal to the triangle D, B, A. That's going to be the next step. So what we have, and since the angle DBC, where is DBC? that's over here, is equal to the angle FBA, which is over here. These are both right angles. Let the angle ABC be added to each. So ABC is this angle over here. So we're going to add that to both. And equals add to equals will generate equals. As he says, therefore, the whole angle, which we'll draw in here, DBA, which is right here, DBA, is equal to the whole angle FBC. Those two angles are equal. And since DB is equal to BC, 
we have db being equal to bc. Why is that true? Well, we have a square down here. They must be the same. And likewise, we have fb being equal to ba, which is over here. The two sides AB and BD are equal to the two sides FB and BC, respectively. So this step is very important to be clear on, because you want to notice what's going on in these two triangles. So we have this triangle over here. Notice that we have this one side belonging to the square down here, this side over here belonging to this square, and the common angle which is in between the two sides. And we also have this triangle, ABD. This has a side with this square down here. It has another side with a square up here. And it has that angle in between those two sides. Therefore, by proposition four, these two triangles are equal, as he says. And the angle ABD is equal to the angle FBC, therefore the base AD is equal to the base FC, and the triangle ABD is equal to the triangle FBC. These are all the inferences we draw regarding two triangles when we have the side angle side relation. Continues. Now the parallelogram BL is double of the triangle ABD, for they have the same base BD and are in the same parallels. BD and AL. So let's make sure that's clear. What he's saying is that this triangle, ABD, with respect to the parallelogram BL, the parallelogram BL is double this triangle. And why is that? We have the common base BD, and they're in the same parallels, namely BD and AL. Therefore, the area of this triangle, ABD, is one half of the parallelogram BL. Equivalently, the area of the parallelogram is double that of the triangle. And that follows from Proposition 41. Likewise, if we turn our attention to the triangle FBC, for they again have the same base FB, and are in the same parallels FB and GC. So we're taking note of this parallelogram here, which is also the square. Therefore, the area of this parallelogram, GB or square, is double that of that same triangle, FBC. And from this, we can infer since the doubles of equals are equal to one another, that the parallelogram BL, this rectangle down here, is equal to that of the square, GB. These two are the same with respect to their area. Now we're going to repeat a very similar argument relating the square over here, HC, to this rectangle down here, CL. As he says, similarly, if AE, which is over here, and BK, BK is over here, if these, if these be joined, the parallelogram CL, which is down here, can also be proved equal to the square HC. And we'll go through the steps, just to make this clear. So the triangles we're going to focus on now will be this one, B to C to K, and also this triangle AEC. Notice that they both share one side of the square, BC, and also CE. Notice that they share one side belonging to the square up here, which is CK for that triangle and AC for the other triangle. And again, we're going to take a look at the common angle. So notice that we have BCE 
and KCA, these are both right angles. What we're going to do is add to both of them the angle ACB. And from this it follows that they have this common angle, KCB, in this one. And in the other triangle, ACE. Therefore, between these two triangles, we have, once again, as in the previous pair of triangles, we have the side angle side relationship. Hence, these two triangles have equal area. Now, notice that this triangle down here, ACE, this has the base in common with the parallelogram C to L. And it's in the same parallel. CE is parallel to AL. Therefore, the area of this parallelogram CL is double that of the triangle ACE. And if we turn our attention up here, the triangle KCB up here shares the base in common KC with the square up here. And KC is parallel to HB. Draw that in up here. Therefore, the area of that square is double that of the triangle KCB. And since the doubles of equals are equal, this proves that the area of the square HC up here is equal to the area of this parallelogram down here, CL. Therefore, the whole square BD EC is equal to the two squares GB and HC because equals add to equals will generate equals. GB is equal to BL and HC is in turn equal to CL. Therefore, the whole, which is this, BDEC is equal to the square GB and the square HC taken together. And the square BDEC described on BC and the squares GB over here and HC on the sides BA and AC respectively. Therefore, the square on the side BC over here which is down here, is equal to the squares on the sides BA, which is up here to the left, and AC over here to the right.